rabbits have been farmed outside for hundreds of years. We're trying some small scale experiments here ourselves and here are some thoughts on the housing side of things. This part of Ireland doesn't really suit rabbits very well at all. Not because there isn't plenty to eat, because there is. But the soil on this side of the country is wet and shallow and often non-existent. And rabbits need light, free-draining soil to dig burrows. And that only exists here in banks and hedges. So there just aren't many wild rabbits around at all. <laughs> What's wrong now, Nothing, Bobby? nothing, Jim. We're only laying it out though, aren't we? Yeah, we're only laying it out for now. We'll see what it looks like. What does the plan say there? Uh, it's all lines and circles, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Not cementing them at all. No. We're just going to sit on one. In England and France, people built huge banks of sand and made artificial warrens. The warreners would feed the rabbits protect them from predators, and then harvest them by the thousands. I'd be tempted to try the same thing here, bring in tons of sand, but there's nowhere to put it, and it would cost us more fortune. So, here's our compromise. Remember, this is just an experiment. The idea is that they have a few exits in case they need to get out in a hurry, and there are also compartments that they can defend. And action! Nice. Yeah. We, could, we could go multi-story, couldn't we? we go How high can we go? Yeah. Jump. Dive. Mm. <laughs> I'm not sure whether they can actually fit through that hole. Well, there's only one way to find out. Yes, I know. <laughs> and then we covered the whole thing with plastic to keep the rain off and bales of straw and old hay which will rot down soon and start growing things. Put a temporary fence up around the warren until they get used to their new home. And put two rabbits in to see how they get on. If all goes well, we'll take the fence down soon and give them a lot more space. So far, so good. Any thoughts or advice for us?